three to some power. Can you tell me what that is, if you know? Um, three to the second. Second power, good. Okay, now there's there's a couple of like steps we could do, but you are allowed at this point to set the exponents equal. Okay. You, just set, you just set 2n minus 2 equal to 2, and you solve for n. Okay, so once the bases are the same, which is why you go from the larger base to the smaller base when you can, you then um, set the exponents equal. So you're going to add 2 to both sides, divide by 2, so n is 2. Okay. Any questions on that? No, that's, that looks okay. good. It's pretty straightforward. So uh, where are we going with this? So let's say it's, um, oh, I don't know, um, let's choose a different base. Let's say it's uh, 5 to the 4x minus 3 equals 125. This is where you really need to know your, your, your powers. Right. Um, do you know if you're allowed to use a calculator in this part of the course? Yes. Okay. That is really helpful. You're, you, what you would type in the calculator is like five to the one, five to the two, five to the three, until you found the one uh, that works. Now on my website here, and I'll just drop this link into the chat uh, for like SAT prep, I, I've put together a table of exponents that are good to know. They just save you time. Uh, but if you have a calculator, you're welcome to use that. But yeah. it's really helpful if you're like, okay, this is five to the power of three. Oh yeah, that is cool. And the idea is not that like you're better at math if you know this, it's just that it saves you time. That's all it is. Right. Okay, so go ahead and uh, set the uh, equation equal to each other. You uh, do not always get whole number answers. Uh, this one is a fraction. So you move the 4x minus 3 in front, and then you take the natural log of both sides. Right. Now, now you're using, and, and there's, okay, so there's nothing wrong with what you said. Like, you're doing it the, the classic official way. Um, most instructors are okay with you to just set the exponents equal, but that's up to you. Because what you end up doing is you're dividing by the natural log of 5 on both sides. And, and it does cancel. Yeah. So you ultimately get down to the exponents being equal. 4x minus 3 equals 3. Yeah. Well, OK. Well, I thought you just moved the 4x minus 3 in front of the 5. It, it, it's only after you take the natural log of both sides. Okay, so you take the natural log of five and 125? Well, okay, okay, yeah, now I'm, so now I'm, now I'm, getting, now I'm understanding some things here. Okay, let me, let me back up here. Okay. Uh, let me back up to one of these lines. I'm gonna just delete all this, okay? You first want the bases to be the same. You, you have to rewrite 125 as five to the power of of three, like that has to be known. Okay. Okay, and you get that from your calculator looking up. Now, the, the very important, this is what you asked me. This is the correct next step, natural log of each side of the equation. Yeah. This is probably what you were seeing in the classroom. Some students, some instructors skip this, that's why, I, that's why I was asking. So yes, you take the natural log of both sides, both sides. It's a share, you, you know, you have to do it to both. You don't get to pick. There's a property of natural logarithms. The property says the natural log of X to the N. So whatever, whatever the exponent is, it becomes N times the natural log of X. Basically you bring that exponent out in front. So in, in, in your next line here, you're gonna bring the three out in front of the natural log and then you're going to bring the 4x minus 3 out in front of the natural log. Is this familiar to you? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think what we've been doing in our class, we, so if like this equation was set up how you set it up the first time you drew it out, we would okay. just take, or like 125. That, okay. That, yeah. We would just take the natural log of 125. Like we wouldn't even have the three and five there. Okay. And, and, and you can do that. Uh, it's not wrong. It, it, what you're, the, the approach you're doing works better for a problem like eight, for example, oh, or okay. seven or seven. When mm -hmm. you can make the bases the same, you don't, you don't need to go to this extent. Yeah. Because, and that, because, because the, the next step here is to divide both sides by the natural log of five. And you can see that it, that it cancels. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but but I, I I'm really glad you asked me that question. It it, it raised something in my head here that I I know I, I know now to address um, in terms of explanation here. I'm going to make this you know as clear. We're going to do some more examples like this as well. Um, but do you see how this line that we're at right here, four x minus three equals three, is the same as the exponents? Yeah. And that's because the reason it is, the reason you can do that is because the bases are the same. Right. So what you were, what you were asking me about with this natural log stuff does work, but you have to do it when the bases are not the same. Like if this was a six on the right, you, you have to use the natural log, but because the bases are the same, you can set the exponents equal. Yeah. All right. So to solve that, yeah, three to both sides, divide by four, and you get a fraction for your answer. Okay. So we're gonna look at number six next. Okay. Number six next. And uh, let me just change this up a little. Let me do, um, I'll make minus X plus five for the moment. My question to you is, are the bases the same? Yes. Okay. So when your answer is yes, okay, you can set the exponents equal. Oh, yeah. So you just do negative 2x equals negative x plus 5 and you just solve? Yes. Okay. But when the bases are not the same, you need to use this natural log. Okay. Okay. So can you, uh, will you solve that equation on the left? Yeah. So x equals five. So when you add x to both sides, you're really close here. It's negative x. Equals. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, so x negative x equals five. X equals negative five. Yeah, very good. Now there's a little a little wrinkle over here on the left. If 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 it's no. If the bases are not the same, there's kind of a, there's still a question that you need to ask, which is, can you make them the same? Yeah. And that's what we've been doing in this in this grouping here. Okay, and we're gonna, we're going to do a few more questions. Like I can sense that your full understanding isn't there yet, uh, but but that is what we're doing. Like we we have to um, have to do that. So let me uh, let me give you one more. Um, problem here. This is just an example that I make up. Uh, 8 to the power of 5x plus 1 equals 2. Yes, we'll do that. Nope, I'm sorry. I'm making this more difficult. Than I need to. Let me go. Let me go this direction. Okay. Let's do this. All right. So question to you is, are the bases the same? No. No. Okay. So since they're not the same, the question now is, can you make them the same? And if you can, if the answer to that is yes, you, you still set the exponents equal. If it's no, that's, that's when you have to use the logarithms. Okay, so, so while they're not the same, the question is, well, can you make them the same? Can you make eight into two to some power? Yes. Okay, what is that exponent? What, what number goes up here above the three? Two? Three. 
Okay, now since the bases are the same, you now said the just, exponent. Yeah. Okay. So you write three equals five X plus one. And then you just subtract one. So then two equals five X. And then divide by five. Yes. So then two fifths equals X. Yes. Yeah. All right, um, there's there's a, an exponent property we need to talk about real quick before we move on to some other examples. Um, do you have all this down? Is that okay? Yes. All right, so the property is, if you have a, a base, and actually let me, use, uh, let me use X as your base, and it's to the power of N, but it's also raised to another power. Okay, so the, the example would be like, two to the power of three to the power of five. Okay. Yeah. The, the property says that you multiply the exponents. Okay. So on the right, this would be two to the 15 power. Is, yes. that, okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do a couple more examples. Let's say it's uh, four to the fifth to the power of seven, what would this be? It would be four to the 35th. 35th power. But you can also have a variable. So like it could be three to the X to the power of two, and you still multiply the exponents. So it's three to the X times two, but we prefer to write that as two times X instead. So it doesn't matter what's there. It doesn't matter if it's a variable, a number, a number and a variable, you multiply. Yeah. So sometimes the properties are better stated in words. Um, you know, the ex when, the ex when it's an exponent to an exponent, n to the m is an exponent to an exponent, you multiply the exponents. Right. All right, so just, just hold, do you want another example or do you, do you, um, do you feel like you have the understanding of this? I think I understand this. Okay, so now we're going to go back to, uh, we'll do four next. Okay. Okay, so same questions. Are the bases the same? No. No. So can we make them the same? And so far, the way we've been making them the same is to make the larger into the smaller but that doesn't always work. Like you cannot make 64 into 16 to some power very easy. That there is a way, but it's not that easy. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes they both have to go. They both change. And this one actually has a couple options. You can either go 64 as four to some power and then 16 to four to some power, or let me copy it over. And the more math you take, uh, the more that, that this happens where you get options. Um, you could go to two, two to some power, two to some power. Do either, do e does either one stand out to you? Like, I like that better. Um, 16. Yeah, uh, meaning like, do you, uh, which, which base? Oh, oh, uh, four or two. Like, do you look four. at six, do, do you look at 16 as four squared, for example? Yes, probably okay. four. Now that means you have to bring the exponent down like yeah. this. Mm -hmm. 64 is four to the power of three. Okay. Now you, you can't quite yet ask yourself, are the bases the same? Because four squared is the base, not four. And that's why I led you through those exponent problems. What do you do to the two and the two X to simplify this? You multiply multiply. So that's four to the four X equals four to the power of three. Now you repeat, you say, okay, well, are the bases the same? Yes. Yes. And then you set them equal, set the exponents equal. 
and then you just divide by both sides. Okay. So it's, it's reasonable to ask and say, well, would it have worked out the same if we had used two? Okay, and, and yes, it does, but let me show you. Okay, so uh, 16 is two to the power of four. 64 is two to the power of six. Because you have an exponent to exponent on the left here, it becomes two to the eight X equals two to the sixth. You set the exponents equal, eight X equals six divide both sides by eight. And wouldn't you know it, it's exactly the same. Yeah. All right. So the point, the point of this problem, because we're, we're going to do another one, is you may not be able to make the larger into the smaller, and you may have to make them both into the smaller. And that's where it's like, well, which one? Which one do we go to? That's where having this exponent table uh, it really matters. Yeah. All right. So here's here's a new problem for you, number two. Um, I want your I want you to look at that table or use your calculator, but I want you to tell me what base, and it's both smaller. Like it's it's not bigger. What base can we use to get both to raise to a number can get to uh, six twenty five and one twenty five. Um. Let me go on that. She sent me. Um, five. Yes. 625 is five to what power? Um, to the fourth. Good. And then 125 is five to what power? Um, three. Now there's there's implied parentheses around the x plus one. So when you move it down, it's it's implied that it's parentheses x plus one. So the exponent is x plus one. And if you're not sure why that matters, it's because when you multiply, you don't just multiply the x, you multiply three times the x and the one or write it out. Um, so we got we got to do that on both sides here. So it's five to the twelve x equals five to the three parentheses x plus one. And then you can, you can multiply in, but you don't have to quite yet. Um, will you, uh, will you solve this one from here though for us, please? Yes. So you move both of the exponents in front first after you multiply the three X to the... So, yeah, so like this is, the, here's where we're at in terms of our path. Are the bases the same? Um, yes. Oh, so you just set them equal to, oh, I always yes. forget to look at the bases. Yes. Okay, so then... So x equals eight. Uh, um, let me try this. So 12x equals- Or three. actually x equals nine, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no. Uh, did you distribute the three into both? Um, I distributed the, yeah. Oh, three, three X plus three. Yes. See, see, so you see, you get a nine. It's just, it, 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 it's an intermediate answer. You subtract three X from both sides. So X equals one third. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I want you to try one on your own. I mean, five is the one that's remaining on here. So I'll throw that one out. But um, if it's, if you want an easier one than five, I got to go look for the one real quick. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you that the base that you need to make it into is six as a hint, but I'd like you to try this one on your own, please. And if you have questions, please ask um, as you're working through it. Okay.
Yeah, I think I did this one in class and I think I got it wrong and I forgot to see what he got for the answer. But this one was hard. It's very similar to the previous ones. Um, you, know, you can check with me as you go if you have questions. So on my paper, what I did before is I took, so I moved the exponents in front for both sides. But are the bases the same? No. So until they're the same, you can't do that. So what, what I was suggesting here is that you make 216 into six to some power and 36 into six to some power. So, 216 will be 6 to the third power, and then 36 will be 6 to the second. That's right. And, and it, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's iterative, which means that you ask yourself the same question again. Are the bases the same? Yes. But it kind of. Like, like, the base is actually 6 to the third and 6 squared. Like, it's really close. Oh. So you have to do that one last step where you you um, multiply the exponents to get the base by itself. Yeah. So it'd be six to the three x minus six, and then equals six to the four x. Yes. And again, you ask yourself the same question: Are the bases so, the same? And yes. this time they are, which means that you can do what? Can you say that out loud for us? Um, set them equal to each other. Set the exponents equal to each other. Okay, so if you could do that, get a get a final answer for us. So x equals negative six. Uh, yes, that works. I'd like you to do one more. Um, you're really close here to like having it down. I think I'm trying to think of a good analogy. I don't, I don't have a great one, um, but it's like something you constantly ask yourself. Like maybe what's in your parking. It's like, well, am I close enough? Am I, you know, what, what, like some, that's what we ask. You ask yourself this question, are the bases the same? Because that's the key that, that opens up this like nice feature about these problems. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this, this is another one um, where you have to make the bases the same first. They are not the same, but you can make them the same. Right. So you can. Make the base of four. So four to one is four, four oh, to actually, 16. No. So that works for 16, but not for eight. So that's you, out. You can put it to two. Two, yes. So then okay. so two, go, ahead and see if you, go ahead and see how far you can work this one out on your own. I got x equals 16 over 3, but I'm sure you can like make it a decimal. Yeah, that, that, that's okay. So let me let me carry, uh, carry out here. So that's 2 to the power of 3 to the 5x equals 2 to the power of 4 to the 3x plus 4. Does this match what you have? Yes. Okay. I have no idea if your answer is right or wrong. Um, then you multiply the exponents, 15x. On the right here, it's... Uh, 12x plus 16 is that what you have yes okay so yeah we're uh your your answer is correct yeah good so the key the key really is is like are the exponents the same like if they're not the same this doesn't work and does that apply for like every 
every log equation? It, 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 these are exponent equations and they like, that is your, like, that's, uh, so remember factoring, um, yeah. the first types, there's some factoring problems where it's like, oh, it's X squared, um, minus X minus six. And like, you know, this type, okay. Like, yeah. but there's also this type of factoring and there's other types of factoring. Like we're just going down the list. Like there's going to be a bunch of these types of problems to look at. So this is just like one type of problem that you now have mastered. Yeah. But it's important. It's important for you to recognize this. Okay. Here's one last example. We're going to do this one together because this is non obvious. Um, and when I say non obvious, until someone tells you, you have no way to figure this out. You just guess forever. Um, are the bases the same? Um, no. No. But you can make them the same. You're like, how do you make them the same? Three to the zero is one. So any number to the zero power is always one. That's a good one to, you know, you might see on the test. Yeah. And it's not obvious. You, you, would, you wouldn't really know to ever write that. But I can ask you now, are the bases the same? Yes. Yes. Since they're the same, you set the exponents equal. Even if it's zero, you can still set it equal. And then you solve for R. Yeah. So R equals negative one. Yeah, that's what I got. Fantastic. Okay. Now, uh, the next grouping of problems we're going to go to, like, like you might think, oh man, there's a lot here. Like, in some ways, the next grouping is more straightforward because you will never make the bases the same. They could just, they will never be the same which means you're always going to use the LN. So you don't yeah. have to, you don't have to kind of like uh, struck, you don't have to sort of guess, but on the test or on the quiz, like the instructors are going to say like, oh, these are ones where you can make the base the same. These are ones where you can't. Um, so well, I'll help you try to decode that here. So when you look at number eight, we, we'll go back and do seven in a bit. Uh, but number eight, same, same question. Are the bases the same? No. Can you make them the same? And and what you noticed about the last grouping of problems is that like like the numbers kind of had the appearance of being an extension of of a power, um, whereas thirteen and fifty eight have no relation. Like like thirteen is not a number to a power, and neither is fifty eight. Yeah. And they can't, and even if they were like, it's 13 to the power of one and 58 to the power of one there, you can't make them the same. Yeah. So this is when thou shall use natural log. You must use natural log. There's okay. no other way to do it. And this is where you write natural log of both sides. Natural log 13 to the minus nine N equals natural log 58. Now you need some properties. Okay, so your, your first property is the natural log of x to the n equals n times the natural log of x. So that, that exponent comes out in front. Yeah. So that, that really only applies to the minus 9n here. That minus 9n is going to come out in front like that. And you just bring the rest of it down. Natural log of 13 equals natural log of 58. Okay. Do you remember from class what to do here from this position? Um, you, you divide by natural log of 13 for yeah. both sides. Yeah. Uh, now these, these numbers are what I call, un they're not friendly. They don't work nicely. They're, 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 we like when things work out, but this is not the case here. Yeah. So unfortunately, you have to write natural log of 58 over the natural log of 13. Right. And wait until the end. If, if you read the question instructions, it says to solve by taking logs, we're doing that. And then it says round your answer to the nearest 10,000th. So that implies you're probably going to go to a calculator at some point. Yeah. I just plugged it in and I got 1.5830. For, for the part on the right? Yes. 
Okay, now are you using a TI-83, 84? Yeah, uh, TI-84. 84, okay, and that's fine. Um, I like to hold off until the end, but I'm gonna pull up my virtual calculator to help as well. So you got minus nine N equals a number over here. You still have to divide that by negative nine. Right. Okay, so let me, let me uh, give me just a moment to get this pulled up. Um, the first person this semester that needs the calculator, so I don't have it ready. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so mine's an 83. It's not as nice uh, as the 84, but works the same way. So LN 58 divided by LN 13. Okay, and that, that's what you told me. You said, okay, uh, that's, that's the answer. You divide it by negative nine, and you probably got got this. Is that right? Uh, yes. Okay. Now the, the calculator is designed to actually do the full calculation, but th this is okay. Um, where where you run into issues if is if you try to round, like you you take the one point five eight three zero and divide it by negative nine. You you really want to do it in a such a way where you're keeping that full number uh, right. there. Okay. All right, so uh, unless we run into more issues, I won't jump in and do any more calculator stuff. Uh, but let me share, go back, and we'll do some more problems. Here we go. All right, so I think I want us to do number nine next. It is most similar. Um, I'd like you to try this. I, I really do feel like you know enough to be able to do this. Um, and uh, we'll talk about the rounding in a moment. but. Um, why don't you work through this and your final answer to four decimal places? If you okay. have questions, if you have questions, please ask. But I got negative point two two zero three five. Yeah, so to to four decimal places, like let's say your instructor's really picky on this one. Uh, this three is the is the um, ten thousandths place, but you use this five to decide what to round it to. Do you know whether that rounds up or down? So it'd be two two zero four. Yes. Okay. Now, some instructors want both the exact and the approximation. And so this would be a good question to ask your teacher next time you're in class is like, hey, we're going through some problems. And I was wondering, are you going to want just the answer or do you want the exact? And when I say exact, here's what I mean by that. X is the log of 72 over the log of 16. And then it's, it's divided by negative 7 but they sometimes want you to write it out properly like this, where it's negative one seventh. Um, so that, that would be something that you'd wanna find out uh, before your quiz. You know, is that something that's gonna be an issue? Right. All right, so any okay. questions on that? Um, no, no questions on that. Okay. I actually do have one that I kind of want you to, since our time yeah. is kind of- Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Or do you wanna skip? Um, I was a little bit confused on which one is it? Um, number eleven. Okay. All right, I'm just zooming into where I can snip it. Okay, I'm gonna actually type or write this one out. Minus eight point four e. Is that an x? N? It's n. N plus two point seven. Yeah, equals negative 15. Very good. Okay. Yeah, so this one has an E in it. E is different. I, mm -hmm. I was I was avoiding talking about E. That's why I didn't do uh, 7 yet. Um, can we do 7 first? We're, we have plenty of time to get to, to 11. But Oh, yeah, we can do 7. Okay. We'll come back and we'll definitely hit that one. Okay, so 7. Same question I've been asking all evening. 
R the base is the same? Is E the same as six? No, no, it's not. Can you make them the same? Nope. No. Uh, you can never make E into something else besides E. Okay. So you know at this point, like the only option I have is natural log. Right. Okay. okay. So you take the natural log of both sides. Scrolling back to the previous problem, what did we do next after we did the natural log? What did we do with this exponent? We moved it to the front. Yeah, and it doesn't matter whether it's an E or a number, this exponent here, this, this B minus three, this B minus three is gonna come out in front. B minus three, it's really in parentheses, natural log of E equals, I got a little technology problem here. What's going on? Okay. Having a small little thing here happen. Um, this isn't. This isn't coming in very clear. Me just a moment here. Uh, why is this not working? Hmm. Okay. Um, back to that screen. Right, so we have we have b minus three natural log of e equals natural log of six, like that. And uh, this is where, just like in the previous problem, you divided both sides by the natural log. So you're going to do yeah. that here. You're going to divide both sides by the natural log of e. But you might know something. You might remember from class that the natural log of e is actually a known value it's one right so you can you can divide or you can say oh yeah it's one whatever you want to do is fine you get a choice here but it, it just becomes the natural log of six because natural log of e is really one anything divided by one is itself and then to finish this problem off you add three to both sides yeah. So, so B is equal to the natural log of six plus three. And this is what I mean by exact. Sometimes you see that exact. And, and we don't like this. We, we want a nice clean number, but this is exact. And then if you, uh, if you have your calculator, you can go there and type it in. And if you could round this one to four decimal places for us, whenever you get caught up. Four point seven nine one, or four point seven nine two. So four decimal places. So seven nine one, and then seven. seven five. So does that seven round up or down? Uh, so it'll be eight. So it rounds up. Yes. It, and, you know, it's a small thing until it's like, well, is it four point seven nine one eight billion or is it four point seven nine one seven billion? And then yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe it matters. Maybe that, you know, we think it matters. Um, or if you're, you know, I know a guy who was doing a time trial and he lost by, well, his was in the milliseconds, but, you know, you can lose a race by just that much. So um, good. And so this is considered a approximate approximation. Right. Okay. Now, uh, so we're going to go back and do this problem here. Yeah. Uh, number 11, 11, and I promise I'm not trying to get out of doing this. I'm going to grab seven again, though, because I want to make a comment that's applicable here. Um, so notice, and this is this is kind of a key difference here. In seven, the the e to an exponent is by itself. 
Okay, meaning there's no addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. The same cannot be said about 11. Okay, 11 has uh, this, this minus 8.4 is multiplying. Yeah. And, and the reason we were able to, to, to ask if the bases are the same is because we'd, we'd gotten rid of everything. And so in this problem on the left here, you have to undo the multiplication first. So on the left here, the, the, the coefficients cancel. So it's e to the n plus 2.7 equals, and this is where you may think, oh, I can go to my calculator. Yes, you can. It's okay to leave it like this. It's okay to just say, I don't know what that is yet. I'm just going to leave it, not, not deal with it. Yeah. I, I, I was in your shoes once and I was like, I don't, I want to do something with this. I want to, but when you put in your calculator, it's 1.785714. It's, it's not nice. It's, it's so, um, but you know, that's the, that's the direction you're moving in this class. Not all the answers are nice. So now the question we've been asking all night, are the bases the same? Is E the same as this thing over here on the right? Sorry, Sam, again, you kind of broke up. Sorry, is, is E, are the bases the same? Is E the same as this thing? Oh, on the no, right? no. And then it's like, well, can you make it the same? It's like, I don't think so. E, it's not E on the right. So it's, I, I have no shot here. And that's what tells you, no, I got to use natural log. Yeah. Natural log of both sides. Natural log of the right. And so earlier in the lesson, you're like, hey, let's take the natural log. Like, I think you were, you were looking at questions, you were thinking of questions like this when you, you misremembered, hey, if I can make the bases the same, I do that. I only use the natural log when I can't. Yeah. All right, so now uh, you're gonna bring the exponent out in front, this n plus 2.7. It is in parentheses, natural log of E equals natural log of 15 divided by 8.4. What do you think we should do next here to uh, simplify this? Um, take the natural log of E on both sides. Uh, give me a little more information about that, because I think maybe you know what to do, but you said didn't quite say it correctly. So divide both sides by the natural log of e. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now that that is that is perfect. But what is the natural log of e? What is its numerical value? Just one. It's one. Yeah. So yes, you can divide by it, but it's like dividing by one. Yeah. Okay. So on the left. You can you can drop the parentheses because it's just n plus two point seven equals the natural log of fifteen over eight point four. Subtract two point seven on both sides. Yes. So n equals natural log fifteen over eight point four minus two point seven. Yeah. Okay, and that's where you grab your calculator and put all that into the calculator. Let me know what you come up with. I got negative 2.1202. You got it. Okay, that makes way more sense now. So let me make up another one here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna modify 12. So let's say 12 is e to the x minus eight plus five equals 62. Uh, you always start here by asking yourself, well, are the bases the same? It's like, well, there's an e and there's a 62, but you can't even do that yet because you have this plus five. 
okay? You have to isolate the E first. So if you notice in this problem, we isolated the E before we took a log. And in the problem before that, the seven, the E was already isolated. Okay, so when, you, when, you, when you're adding or subtracting or multiplying a number, you have to undo that first. You have to subtract five first. So this gives you E to the X minus eight equals 57. So now, now the E to this is isolated. That's good. That's what you want. My question to you, Isabel, is, is can you make the bases the same? Are the bases the same? No. No. Can you make them the same? No. No. So you have to use natural log. Yeah. Natural log of both sides. All right. And then uh, that exponent, that x minus 8, you bring out in the front. Divide both sides by the natural log of E, which is really one. And that gives you X minus eight equals the natural log of 57. Yes. Add eight to both sides. I'm going a little quick here, just because we're getting down to the end. Um, yeah, so you got a calculator? Yeah, I got, I got 12.0431. Perfect, perfect. All right, so real quick here, stop recording.